but this is the firmware that I currently have on my printer and I'll have this link down below um, I know it says any two big I think mega S but they do have other versions for other printers um, so the first thing we're gonna want to do before we actually jump into downloading the firmware we're gonna want to go to the beginner's guide I think the beginner's guide is gonna basically walk you through how to identify your printer so uh, you're gonna want to take a look at this to make sure um, we're getting the correct uh, firmware version and then we have to identify our main board uh, so there's quite a few versions here and then once you've identified all those it's down to um, attaching what you have to the abbreviations uh, so for me I have the mega s um, so I'm gonna be looking out for this one and then here I actually do have TMC drivers um, but the thing is, uh, um, for me, I rotated the plugs so I didn't have to change any firmware. So if you did that, ignore this, but if you did change the firmware, you're going to want to look out for this. Then, um, since we're doing the BL Touch, we're going to go ahead and um, obviously want the BL Touch benefits. And then it's onto the main board abbreviations. And for me, I have this version, so I'm going to be looking out for uh, this abbreviation 11 um, and then once you have those you can scroll down and hit the download button this will take you to the download options they have the pre-releases and then they have the latest this is probably the most stable um, so you can download this one I actually downloaded um, the beta version so um, what you would do on the version that you basically want is scroll through all of this it looks intimidating but since we have everything like, since we know what abbreviations to look for, this is going to be easier. So I'm looking for the Mega S. I'm looking for the BLT and then 11. So this will be mine that I would download right here. But let's say that you didn't reverse the plug and you need the firmware to basically change the rotation of your, your TMC drivers. Uh, you would be downloading... Let's see... You would be downloading this one or this one depending on your main board so yeah just keep in mind um, there's a bunch of versions here um, there's also the source code if you want to go ahead and compile your own once you have your firmware you're going to want to go ahead and flash it onto your printer so you can use kira or you can use octoprint um, i could show you in kira right now um, you go so through Kira, you're actually going to want to hook up your printer through USB. And then you're going to want to go ahead and go to this tab and hit Manage Printers. Put the update firmware and just uh, load custom firmware and uh, select the file. And then you're, you should be able to flash it. Um, after uh, it's flash, uh, just power cycle your printer and you should be all good. Um, if you're doing it through Octoprint, uh, so opening up my Octoprint right now. Before you do it, if you don't have the plugin already and if you haven't configured it, um, basically you're going to want to get this plugin called Firmware Updater. Select the file, select your printer. Before you hit flash, you're actually going to need to configure stuff in the flash method. For the flash method, you're going to want to hit AVR dude or select AVR dude. You can find this online. Um, yours might be a little different, but mine's this one. I believe it's the same for the i3 Mega and the Mega S, um, but don't quote me on that. And then um, through the terminal, you're going to want to install the AVR Dude using sudo apt install AVR Dude. Once that's installed, you're going to want to do which space avr dude to find your path it's most likely going to be this one but still check it might be different and then for the programmer type select wiring after this is done just hit save and then you should be able to flash with success and then of course power cycle your 3d printer and that should be your firmware all updated now I almost forgot to cover, after you flash your firmware successfully, you're going to want to go ahead and power on your printer, uh, select print, and then you're going to want to select the special menu. 
in the special menu you can use the up down arrows to move within that menu and you want to locate the load FW defaults. Once you click on that go ahead and hit the refresh button to apply it and then once you basically hear confirmation from your printer it should make a beep confirming that you selected that. You're going to want to find the save EEPROM and you want to hit that same refresh button to basically apply this and you should be all set with your firmware. Once I got all my values, I used the M851 gcode command to input my values for my probe offsets. Um, there's examples down here how to do it. I use uh, basically this one right here. Um, I just inputted my value which was negative 1.34. Then for my XY, use the same one. But for my X, I put 29, and my Y, I did negative 15. Yours are going to most likely be different from mine. They are going to be different from mine. And once I inputted those settings, I had to save those settings using the M500 command. This uh, saves it to your EEPROM, and you should be good to go.